Don't you hate it when people read over your shoulder? for asking a mind reader. Oh, you gotta help me, Cheryl. You can channel Einstein or Newton or, or some other genius into my head. Then I'll pass for sure. Plucky, last week you told me channeling was new age nonsense. It's a term of endearment. Oh, please, you gotta help me. Get invisible, Plucky. Your whining is stressing out my aura to the max, you lunch meat. <laughs> Nothing's free here. Sorry, time's up on your beach blanket rental. I don't know about you, but I need liquid refreshment! <laughs> Actually, I would have settled for a simple bottle of pop. Soft drinks. Now there goes a cute couple. Yeah, but a couple of what? I'm going to the powder room with the girls. No problemo, babe. Girls, always painting their faces. Could I have more blush, please? Like more eyeshadow hair. Oh, so good, pure. Can you do something with my hair? Hi, girls. Hi, Elmira. In prom night magical. I just think it's Ginger Peach and Runerichi King. How do you like my ensemble? She, she, or what? Wrong. I'll knock Monty Wanty for a loop. You mean Monty didn't bring you to the dance? Nope. My little cuddly Wadley must have forgot to pick me up, but I'll be waiting for him. Uh oh. <laughs> 
T word I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> yes, my boy. It's collection night. We've come for your donation. I must confess, as I stood with my ear pressed against your wall, I couldn't help but overhear your musical complaint. <laughs> so she was a, a little bit off a key. Have a heart. Attack. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> She's got plaque. I really like girls with plaque. Be nice, and I'll consider taking you out this Saturday night. our universe. Billions of planets and stars, all bound together by one force. Dumb sight gags. I'm Orson Welles, and the subject of today's show is toon physics. Physics? Yuck! That sounds too much like school. I'm gone. Here is a classic example. In real life, an anvil is much too heavy to lift and drop on an unsuspecting duck. But in a cartoon... Multiple anvils can be dropped on Plucky, causing him no pain whatsoever. No pain, he says. Jeez. Let's look at another example called the Big Bang Theory. In real life, this explosion may have formed our universe millions of years ago. But under the laws of tune physics, the Big Bang Theory takes on a whole new meaning. He looks like the cover boy for better homes and grease guns. <laughs> quiet now, quiet, I say. You got your jaws flapping so much, your gum's about to get sunburned. You uh, have to excuse my friends here. They're not used to uh, whatever it is you are. Hello, Dave. My name is Clyde. A junk heap like that should be called Claude. What a freakazoid. <laughs> the ugly gap-toothed boy child disturbs me, Dave. Clyde stands for Cybernetic Laser Ionized Digital Entity. Watch me, Lombada. Hmm. Kids, this may be a good time to get a cheese sandwich. I also break dance, Dave. You must be searching for the Fred Astaire dance studio. It's just a quick stroll up the street. Oh, that's incorrect, Dave. But thanks for playing our game. I have just enrolled in Acme University. Clyde signed on for the semester. 
Good answer, Dave. Now for Final Jeopardy. All right now, everybody, back to work. Uh, uh, Clyde, uh, you take this seat up here. Thank you, Dave. I'd like to buy a vowel. Well, not too shabby, huh, guys? What do you think? We think you're perfect. Our planet sent us to bring back the bravest, strongest, and fastest Earthling alive. And you're it. Uh, plan, plan, planet, Earthling? Oh, 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 now wait a minute. students. Some transfer. Must be foreign exchange students. Go-Go, that was the dumbest thing I ever saw. That was realism, Babs. We were hoping you'd do something wacky. Wacky? Uh, can't I have a serious moment now and then? It's always stand on your head, Go-Go. <laughs> do that weird thing with your tongue, Go-Go. <gasps> Even I have to take a break from wackiness occasionally. Please, Bugs. I can't take any enemy. My enemy. I've had enough. Yeah, when it comes to cartoons, us old timers only have a six minute attention span. Hang on, fellas. There's only two more to go. Now to introduce the next film, Shirley the Loom. Um, like, thanks, Buster. Okay, first let me say that I had to, like, cut my animated tone poem, Song of the Loon, to fit onto the program schedule. It's really sad. Still, I think it holds up pretty well at its shortened running time of 17 hours and 34 minutes. Ah! Like this year, we're keeping the judges inside for a change. Here's our hippity hop hero, Buster Bunny, playing his signature trumpet theme. For a guy who never took a lesson. Oh, poor little homeless Carrie. Life can be so cruel. You can come home with me. Poor kitty head. I'm gonna make you a nice warm bed and bread. Guess Puddyhead isn't hungry. 
There's only one thing to do in this situation. <laughs> How can you tell if an elephant's been in your bed, Doc Knight? African elephant or Indian? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> Cute gag, Ducko. Got one of my own. Smell the flower. Jaster, <laughs> you fool, you. Always pulling that corny, squirting flower gag. Did you see the way I back ducked that, um... Oh. Mm. Ah. <laughs> they call Wild West World. Let's check it out, huh? Boy, get a load of this realism. Old Bobo Acme spared no expense when he built this place. Save your breath, Babs. They can't hear you. It's all audio animatronics. They're fakes. Just a bunch of robot dummies. Junk. Man, I wish I could be on a show like that. Yeah, but they only, like, hire humans. Drag. I always get what I want. It's a talent I have. Just what is that supposed to mean? Babs, you can't always get what you want. Face it, Toots. You couldn't get on 13-something if your life depended on it. <laughs> and you couldn't get me if all your past lives depended on it. Truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to get on 13-something. There you have it. Can Babs Bunny do it? Can she meet her opponent's challenge? Yes, yes, I can. I am the greatest. I think we've started something that's going to take two acts to resolve. You're not fooling me, Babs. I'm not fooling anyone. I'm going to New York City. The next time you see me, I will be on 13-something. Hasta la vista, baby. Ah, don't worry. This is one thing even Babs can't do. She'll be back. And in the meanwhile, we can catch some fourth quarter action. Hey, Cheryl, can you get us a couple of sodas? Sure. Hey, you put out my eye! Ah, relax. Just blink and you'll be fine. There's gotta be something better to look at than your dumb eyes. Somebody light a match. Up. 
help me burrow out of here. Hold on, chum. I'm a waterfowl, remember? We don't burrow. Not with these webbed feet. Okay, okay. Just follow me and be quiet. Swabs! Fire on young scurvy tourists! Oops, wrong cave. Now where are we? Ah! There's a snake on your head! Ah! There's a snake on your head, too! Ah! Snakes everywhere! Yeah, tell me about it. This time I got it for sure. Oh, no. First that blonde and now this. Oh, jeez, Alfred. Why don't you just tell the world we're down here? <laughs> See if I stand in line for your sequel. Hey, this is the juvenile hall storeroom. Wow, everything for the man who wants to get away from it all. Hey, look, Rocky, we got company. Are you digging out of the hole, too? Oh, schmo. We're blowing this taco stand, and you're coming with us. Oh, no. We're in enough trouble as it is. We ain't leaving no witnesses, Rabbit. Now, do you dig, or does Muggsy here play squeeze toy with your necks? Capiche? Gee, since you put it that way, uh, hand us some shovels. Eh, uh, what's up, Doc? Shall we give it to him, folks? We. Oui. <laughs> and now, the moment you've all been waiting for, our special guest, Bugs Bunny. Mr. Bunny, you're on. Mr. Bunny, huh? Yikes! He's gone. <laughs> Struggle. It was revealed that Daffy had apparently kidnapped Bugs and stolen his prize at Schloss Kerr. Who? Me? Help! I was the last act. The poor kid. Oh, it's my good pal Babs Bunny. Babs knows him? I think your reception problem is with your antenna. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, Porky Pig. like when you're starting out. Heck, I used to play at the opening of an envelope. Good luck, kid. Well, that was great. You were right. You are ready for the big time. Yeah, well, Robin said to me, kid, you're the only one in the world funny enough to follow me. Wait, I forgot something. Thank you. Well, it's, uh... First name, Buster and Babs. Last name, Bunny. Relation, none. Right, Buster and Babs, Bunny. And uh, who, who's that behind you? Uh, Plucky Duck, Mr. DeVille, sir. G I'm glad to see you. Really? Yes, you see, I need a caddy. <laughs> so what's on your minds? Well, CD, we want to make a cartoon ourselves. We want to do something bold and meaningful. Heartwarming, yet dramatic. Tasteful, but low in calories. And we don't want to do comedy. But comedy is what you do. Just listen to our idea. It's called, uh, Dawn of Despair. 
We open with these beautiful crashing waves. And find the beautiful heroine, Daphne Despair, awaiting the return of her sweet, loving, Lance Copperhead, mercenary adventure hero. He's just returned from freeing oppressed peoples of the world. Suddenly, he sees Duke Pluckius, brilliantly portrayed by yours truly. Ow! Or, uh, <clears throat> something like that. Anyway. I've heard enough. And, uh, do you like it? No, I hate it! But you three making a cartoon will be a great publicity stunt. You can do it. Get me the publicity department, now! Now, which one of you is going to be the, uh, director? I am! Hmm. Knighthood? Knighthood? You mean I'd be Sir Brainy Domes? Then you may tell the Queen that Brainy Domes, the world's foremost detective, has already determined the identity of the co-responsible for this crime. Why, that's ripping, Domes. Who is it? It's none other than... Montiarity, the Napoleon of crime. Oh, the Viper, the Pounder, the pencil neck geek. Come on, Flotsam, there's no time to waste. <laughs> Beat it, doggy, this is my cartoon. Wait a minute, what's this? Dry belly button lint? Only one place in England produces dry navel lint like this. Paris. Anyway, lint rhymes with squint, which is what you do in a Clint Eastwood movie. Go ahead. Make my day. I could tell Domes was concentrating his stupendous brain power on the clue. Within seconds, he would have the answer. So, since it's Tuesday, the hideout must be there. appears to have taken a liking to you, old fellow. I cannot abide being upstaged by a common curve. Now, let's get that door. All together now, we're off. your mom. What do I do first? <sighs> this place is such a pit. Who would think a future star of film and television could make such a mess by herself? There's gotta be a better way to do this. Barbarella of space to the rescue! With her fuel gone and her controls frozen, intrepid Barbarella plummets toward the planet freely. And using all strength and skill, Barbarella miraculously makes a perfect three-point landing. To save my soul, weary blues can't get in to my hooves because my hooves refuse to ever grow weary. I keep cheerful on an earful of music sweet because I've got hap, hap, happy feet. Happy feet, I've got those happy 
Fifi. Would it help if I said I'm sorry? Sure, after I knock your mouth down to your kneecaps. <laughs> change. Hmm, what should I make this crazy tat crave instead of me? Nah, that idea stinks. Nah, too big. Nope, too small. Well, wake the kids and phone the neighbors or we've got a winner. Eat Pit Bull. That's right, son. On Falcon's favorite hound teasing tricks. Hound teasing tricks? Don't repeat everything I say, boy. This isn't a language course. I don't know any hound teasing tricks. He taught us yesterday while you were seeing if you could balance a pencil on your beak. I feel sick. I say, boy, what's wrong? You look even greener than usual. Are you sick or something? Sick? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm, uh, sick, Teach. Uh, uh, Ew! Ew, gross! Don't worry, it's adjustable for just such an emergency. You'll ruin my girlish figure. Now I've got something for you. Hold that pose, repulsive. He figures he's all numbskull. Oh, knock it off, gruesome. I'm not that kind of girl. So this time it didn't work out. You're young, you'll find someone else. Bye. Just the point, son. You're a hero to those kids now. None of them will ever respect authority if you walk into the principal's office with your head held high. You've got to whine, snivel, and beg for mercy. Uh, listen, Buster. Buster Bunny doesn't turn yellow, see? Here I am, you lucky people, you! Sometime. She does impressions just like me. Oh, my hero. I got to find Honey and tell her how great I think she is. I can't wait to meet her. I 
don't think that's possible. No one has seen honey in over 50 years. That's all, folks. Hmm, that's what he thinks. <laughs>